People in Blount County's school nutrition program, they are raising money to help kids who don't qualify for free and reduced lunch. 10 News reporter Jacinta Render shows us the work that is going into their campaign. We agreed that we would attempt to raise the money necessary to where we could keep all uh, students attending Blount County schools to continue to receive free breakfast and also free lunches during the school year. For two years during the COVID-19 pandemic, federal waivers made sure all students across the country ate for free at school. Those waivers stopped over the summer. Ron Thames, the president of the Blount County School Nutrition Association, says the federal government will not stop them from feeding their children in Blount County, especially during inflation. What we're looking at is we're trying to raise two and a half million dollars. It is all through the Feeding the Children campaign. We know for a fact that there are families who um, the children only eat at school. Um, so we see it every day. Karen Hilton, Blount County Schools Nutrition Coordinator, asked the community to get involved. We're taking individual donations, um, donations for businesses. In Blount County, I'm Jacinta Rinder. Those over the nutrition program in Blount County hope to start feeding kids who do not qualify for free or reduced lunches by January.